In this video, we're going to explore in the JavaScript for beginners tutorial, we're going to explain what is the add event listener. And so I'm going to show you two ways. Basically, it's this. We want to have this button here and, we, and on click, we would like to see here in our console the click event. So basically, we click on this and there should be some text showing here. This responsiveness is important and we have a few ways to do it. The very traditional way normally is always to do it based on on click. So we have an on click and when we click on it, basically it starts to record. However, a better way is to use add event listener. So let me show exactly first of all how the on click for, uh, function works. And then after we're going to show you the more better way to do it. So in here, we first have to give it an ID, which is always a requested item. So for example, here we say, record that would be the id for the console log and the moment we click on that we can say here on click equals then we say here the record log this will be our function name so so once we have a function name is being triggered by the on click we need to put it in javascript here so we're going to say here javascript we're going to put in here some text and what we're going to do here is the following we say here a const so there's a constant constant or a variable and this constant is going to have the name record which is matching to this but not necessary you can give it anything you want but this is fine for now and then we say here document dot get element by ID and then what's the ID element we want to get well basically the record ID and once we have this we're going to activate a function so we say here function and this function will be called the record log function you can see this is our function here named on click which is triggered by on click record log and then we put in our comment in here so what will we do here well basically the following we will say here console.log then in here we'll say click button all right semicolon at the end save this so once we save this go refresh here and we click on this you can see now we get a message in the console log and indicating that we click the button it says click button all right so this is fine however it's not the best way to do it because we want to clean it up here we want to remove this so what we're going to do is we're going to add up a new button here and this is just a basic bootstrap template here as you can see and now i'm going to give this a different color which will be a, a warning a yellow color and this id record will be record number two and we're going to remove this part here it's this one that we want so we want to use the add event listener to do this so that's the advanced add event listener this will start to trigger the moment we click on this so how will we do this well, we maintain the function here. This is what we are going to maintain. However, we're going to make a new const. So we say const record to equals document dot get element by ID. And then here record record to all right semicolon. And put this together. And then what we have is the following. We're going to put in or well, we're going to match this ID name or this variable or this constant in the function immediately. So we say here record to dot add event listener. It starts to see it already. So we can say add event listener. And in this event listener, we have two items here. So we're going to do it because we want to trigger it by on click or basically on click, the clicking event. So we say here click. Do not add the prefix on here no need for this because if you would do that it will not activate javascript if you are writing in javascript directly here with an event listener it understands that the on prefix can be removed it understands that this is a click function so it listens the moment you click and the same as if you would have on select if this would be on select it would be a select trigger or mouse over Etc. Etc. So we have many different ones, but we say click, all right, and then we say the function name. So what are we? The moment we click, 
what will we trigger? Well, we will trigger this function name here. So we're going to select here the function name, and we can just put it in here, the record log. Once we put a semicolon here, we can save this. We have all of this, and I'll just give this here record to confirm record. Oh, record to save this. Go back here, refresh. So we have two buttons here. So if we click here and then confirm, you can see this is it. And if you click here, now we get the same as well. And this is basically how you work with the add event listener. So what happened now is if we would remove this or maybe say, well, I want to have them both, but I don't want to have the on click event here. Well, no problem. We just remove this here and we can just add them up here as well. So we could do here exactly the same. We just copy this or basically retype here. You can say record dot add event listener. And then we say here again, here we could be on select or let's say mouse over comma record log this capital make sure that the function name is matching here that's basically it and if you would say here we could even do a you can do it two ways i'm going to show you so the moment you're mouse over you can see now what happened is i'm not even clicking it but i'm just mouse overing it as i mouse over it you can see it starts to be triggered and we can do for example maybe you want to do on mouse over and on mouse click well we can trigger them as well we can make two different functions here if you have two options or you can even do it like this here so the moment we do this we can just also say here put in the record and then here on click event so we can save this and then refresh and as you can see here now as I mouse over it but if I click it as well as you can see we are starting to do everything so if you move, move over it and unclick it both of these triggers both of these events are being triggered at the same time. And so you can do here as well, or we can play around here. Let's make this a little bit more advanced so you can see the difference as well. So the moment we have a mouse over, you say uh, record log, you say here, mouse over record log. We copy this. And this is on the mouse over. We say here, mouse over. All right. So we save this again and just do again the same. If you mouse over, as you can see, now we are mouse over. If you click here now, you are now clicking, mouse over, clicking, etc. etc. So now you can play around with it, and this is a very useful trick to have. So if you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. And if you really want to learn more about ChartJS, and the reason why I'm talking about basic JavaScript for beginners is because ChartJS is really dependent on. JavaScript and knowing these kind of on click events or add event listener in JavaScript will help you to write better code in Chart.js. So if you want to learn about Chart.js, check out in the description box my link for my Udemy course where we go dive deep in Chart.js itself.